welcome to the day four finals here at the World Veterans Fencing Championships in Cairo, Egypt. I'm guessing some of you have been here for some time. I'm Karen Bashir and I'm uh, delighted to be bringing you the final session on day four. The schedule has slipped somewhat here in Cairo. Uh, so we had uh, a technical conundrum which meant uh, we had to finish the men's category A semi-finals on the daytime feed. We were able to give you pictures uh, from the start of the women's foil which ran concurrently with the uh, men's foil A semi-finals but uh, we couldn't move the sound across until we had finished that stream and that is why you have been watching the first two fights in science. You are watching the bronze medal match in the women's team four between Italy and the USA. Italy uh, came out uh, to a 5-3 lead after the first leg and uh, now come into this leg 10-8 up, although the USA have got one back. The order for the matches here in this veterans BBC team women's foil competition will be the Canterbury Sea Fencers coming out first and that was Gardini against Stevens. Gardini winning that one 5-3. Then the Category A fences came out. Benucci for Italy and uh, Pateo uh, for uh, the USA. The athletes aged between 50 and 59. And now we have uh, Gianna Cirillo and Amory Walters on for the Category B fences. Fences aged between 60 and 69. Target score in the, this particular leg is 15 points. And the target score overall 30. Um, so we have one match of C followed by one match of A and one match of B and then we repeat that. The teams have the opportunity to make one substitution. After the first three fights changing just one category of fencer if they choose to. They don't have to make that substitution. It's up to them. The referee taking control of this fight is Canada's Suzanne Voigt and uh, it's Khadija Zarabib from Algeria who is uh, sharing the refereeing duties with Suzanne Voigt. So as I said we have slipped in the schedule somewhat. Uh, these, this final stream was uh, due to start at uh, 5.30 so in fact uh, We've probably nicked a bit of time, actually, uh, because it's uh, just at 4.35 and we're running considerably further behind than that earlier on. This match will be followed with, followed by with the uh, women's team for gold medal match and then we'll have all the finals in the men's A, B and C individual foil categories.
card being shown for the ducking of the head there. This is Anne Voigt. Sheila getting that one. through this and that's a good turnaround by Anne-Marie Walters. A 15-12 halfway point lead for the USA here. And uh, I can see that it is Mara Scardini coming out for Italy. Um, looks to me like uh, Joanne Stevens is coming out again for the USA. So no substitution for the uh, Cat C fencers. Did see the USA making uh, a change in the previous round for their Cat B fencer. So keep an eye on that. The full lineup for these teams there is Elena Benucci, uh, Maria Matazanzio, Gianna Cirillo, Gianna Del Corta. Iris Gardini, who we've got here, and uh, Maria Nicolosi for Italy. USA lineup with uh, Lynn Matteo, Jane Carter, Jeanette Starks Faulkner. He did come on as a substitute as a, in the Cat B in the uh, semi finals. Anne Marie Walters, who we just saw, and Diane Reckling, Joanne Stevens, who we've got on the piece right now. Leg four, target score of 20. USA have come from behind to lead at this stage. Final action is Parapost from the left. Good conversation between the blades, but uh, it's who takes that final meeting of the blades that gets the right of way. John Stevens just stepping in there without uh, a real plan. Scardini taking advantage of that to draw level. So three unanswered hits uh, for Iris Gardini for Italy. It's drawn things level in this match. And I've just noticed that the uh, American box were telling John Stevens to just stay out of this match, just move in and out and do a bit of containment. But she finds an opportunity by opening the distance to land her first action. And Iris Gardini calls for a video review on this one. have had their debate and uh, it's uh, Khadija Zerabib who comes out to make the final decision and it is attack to right. So the box there from the USA guiding Joanne Stevens uh, with that saying open the distance up before you start your attack and it definitely worked. 
Now it's about whether Aris Gardini can adapt to this change of distance. And for me, the same thing again. It's an attack from the right. The referee gives it as well. And uh, it's a good, supportive team that have helped Joanne Stevens at this point. You see, she's opening that distance right up before coming for the final action. But here, you see Gardini now has decided, well, I'm going to stay at a long distance and try and find a parry riposte. Action starts from the right. Iris Gardini cannot call for any uh, videos now that she's lost hers. And again, the attack comes from the right. This longer distance is opening things up for Joanne Stevens. Three unanswered hits for Gardini have been followed by four from Joanne Stevens. Three hit lead coming into the fight for the USA. Could turn into a five hit lead despite Stevens going down by three at the beginning. And a uh, video is going to be called here by uh, Joanne Stevens. And I think she's got a good call here. I think this is worthwhile giving a look at from the referees. They're a little bit closer for sure on that attack. But uh, for me, the attack comes from the right-hand side. Referee's in consultation on this one. Having a good look at this, and uh, quite right too, it was a tighter one, they were closer in distance. And the question is, does Joanne Stevens step forward um, at the same time as starting the extension of her arm? Because it, the crucial thing is the arm coming forward. And the referees are giving it a good look. But they've made their decision now. Got to say, I fancy this going to uh, the American. It does turn around. It is a five point lead for the Americans. Jan Stevens dropped three points straight away at the beginning of that fourth leg, but then she scored five unanswered hits and has opened the lead up with just two legs to go for these two teams. This for the bronze medal here in Cairo in the women's team foil event. for sure for uh, for Italy but, uh, the Americans have made a substitution here that is Jane Carter who's uh, come on for Lynn Patello This the category A fence as the, the children of the team, between 50 and 59. 
the youngest category at the uh, World Veterans Fencing Championships. So we know that uh, they, the Americans won't make a substitution now, or they can't make a substitution now. In the previous match, uh, Jeanette Starks Faulkner came on for the uh, category B second fight, but uh, Anne Marie Walters will anchor the US team here now that this substitution has made, been made for the 50s category. And uh, this time it's Benucci who calls for a video review. You can only think that she's uh, met the blade in the, in the middle of this. I don't see this one being turned around. I didn't hear a meeting of the blades. And uh, Elena Bellucci stepping forward with her arm back. And she's never going to get given the right of way there. Oh, nice flick over onto the shoulder from Carter. Not many of these athletes have got that particular hit in the bag. Uh, the lefty uses it to great aplomb against her right-handed opponents. And you can see that Benucci has changed her approach here. And she actually comes forward as soon as she gets into distance and she's on the attack, she launches it. So <laughs> Carter says, enough of that. I'm just going to come and hit you. One away from the target score here, and there it is. What a fine performance from the American substitute. 25 plays 16 against the Italians. And let's not forget, the Italians had to uh, recover from um, a brutal semi-final against uh, the Russian team. It was uh, really seriously one-way traffic in that, that particular fight. Russia taking it at 29 eight uh, sorry 38 in the in the end and uh, well it was a bit of a hammering and Italy seemed to be still suffering from a bit of a hangover on that one USA nine points ahead and Marie Walters coming on for them it looks to me like uh, it is Gianna Cirillo, who's coming on again for the Italian team. It is indeed. So what can Gianna Cirillo do here? It's a pretty big ask to claw back nine hits in the last leg. But I've seen it before, but coming forward, trying to find the blade too many times. Walters snapping in, attack on preparation. Target score of 30 for the bronze medal here, USA in the driving seat. Walters clearly coming with a game plan to spoil any fast attack from Gianna Cirillo. back for Trio here. Certainly won't give up, that's for sure. Counteraction here will it doesn't it, it doesn't count because Trio landed her attack and I'm surprised she's not called for a, a video there on the uh, ducking of the head but uh, the fight continues. There's the gap to seven now. And 
it's going to have to up the intensity, Chirillo, but she knows that uh, Walters is just stepping in on the counter, spoiling that tactic. But she's not first closing this gap fast enough, Gianna Chirillo. Just a minute and 20 odd seconds left to go in this match. And again, closing in on the counter. Gianna Chirillo, I think, has run out of ideas here. She's running out of time and she just needs to get in there and work out how to get around the ducking counter. Blade is met this time. Walter's changing up to uh, Pree's defer attack on preparation. Two away from bronze, the Americans now. You can see Walters has changed things up. She's now trying to kill time by pushing her opponent back. This buys her loads of time as well because she's now got seven and a bit meters behind her just to stop the American coming forward. That's still the attack from the left off target. Beating the blade gives her the right of way. Still the attack from the right. Big ask for Gianna Trio uh, coming into this. Nine hits down. Remains nine hits. That for me is still off target from the left and indeed. Referee Zerabib gives that off target. And now it's uh, Anne-Marie Walters who's calling for the video. So Chirio definitely picked up the right of way, but it looked to me like on the video that she'd then tried to search for a parry, realized she wasn't going to get it and stuck her arm out. It's a really tight one to call here because the distance is very close between the two athletes, so wave movements are difficult to see. Even on a replay in a slow motion. So referee Khadija Zerabib comes back to give her decision and it is turned over it was a good call from Anne-Marie Walters now the USA just one away from a place on the podium a bronze medal at stake here Walters going back to her containment tactic now blocking things out Inside, 30 seconds. Walters picks up the blade again. This time, it's off target. It's fucking the inside of the wrist there. Cheerio. 20 seconds left to go. A 10 hit lead for the USA. I'm going to put my neck on the line here and say the USA have got the bronze medal here. And uh, they have indeed got the bronze medal. A commanding second half from the USA. Saw them come from behind at the halfway stage and take this bronze medal in style. The USA will be on the podium a little bit later on this evening. That's Lynn Botello, Jane Carter.
Jeanette Starks Faulkner, who played her part today, although she didn't fence in the final. Anne Marie Walters finishing things off there for the USA, and Diane Reckling and Joanne Stevens, the Category C fencers, who will be collecting their bronze medals later. Now, after everything that's happened today, we're going to take a very, very short break in the commentary box because I can see waiting in the wings is the the lineup for the gold medal fight here in the women's team. For we'll be back on the commentary for that very soon. <laughs> 